All right, so uh, what's this week's experiment? It's called the robot versus the Aztec mummy, and it's almost as annoying as this chalk man here. <laughs> yes, but first we're going to scour your palate with a little cinematic science fiction sorbet. It's an old serial called Commando Cody and the Rocket Men from the Moon. Uh, be careful, Larry. I've installed a new security system here in Deep 13, so uh, be careful which buttons you push on the panel. Oh, right? neat. Okay, how does it work? Oh, well, uh, stand over there on that mark and uh, pretend you're from accounting. Okay. You mean this mark here? Yes. Oh, hmm, interesting. Uh, here, here's your movie, Joel. Movie side! Thanks, the mummy. Robot? Yay! Versus the Aztec mummy? Ooh. Last a long time. The head should really screw right off. His curse was to guard the priceless bracelet as well as the golden breastplate. To do so for all eternity. Or a hundred thousand miles, Under whatever came first. Curse. Then when he saw the doctor trying to escape, he picked him up like a rag doll and threw him into a pit full of rattlers. Every good laboratory has a pit full of rattlers. That's something he hadn't counted on. All mummies carry pliers. In memory of the great love that once existed between us. I didn't know Billy Barty was in this. He's got a small part. Oh look, it's Pumpkin Boy. No, it's not that kind of cereal. So it means a uh, also a, a wheat thing. No, a movie that's in series. Unable to detect the cause of these blasts, which have done. That guy mixing damage. drinks. Uh, uh, Professor Tom Collins. Well, there are several theories. That guy Henderson wouldn't tell you what time it is. Just what is his job anyway? He, he doesn't have a watch. Either, but it's a big one. Hello, Mr. Henderson. Hello, Commander. What Cody. time is it? Ted, Miss Gilbert. Its primary use will be to combat this wave of sabotage and destruction of our defense system. Uh, you mean the government knows what's causing it? Yeah, they Not read the papers too. Tesla. And for some time, our astronomers have been noticing an unusual amount of atomic activity on the moon. Isn't any atomic amount of atomic activity, activity, on, the activity on the moon unusual? Atomic want us to fly to the moon. Yes. And when you get to the moon, find out if these attacks are actually coming from there. And bring back some cheese. Some plan window! Hello, window! Hello, window. Hey. Boy, that was gross. Looks like an atomic nose hair clipper. There she is, right on time. It's a train, all right. Whoa. Why do they hate trains so much? Uh, it's not so much that they hate trains, they hate what they stand for. Luckily, they won't see them. Now. She was cleverly disguised as a Hershey's Kiss. I hate to shoot a butt like that. <laughs> Yeehaw! Good thing scientists are such good fighters. Yeah, scientists versus hired thugs. They're gonna launch from a miniature golf course? It'd be fine if they clear the windmill. I still think this is no trip for a woman. Now don't start that again. You'll be very glad to have someone along who can cook your meals. I'll say we will. Don't give her any... Yeah, and pretty soon I'll be able to vote. I like these. Are the dicks coming with us? Uh, no. We, we call them police officers now, dear. Oh, I didn't know. I can't even vote. We'll just wait back here where it's safe by the thrusters. Here, sit in my seat. I want to play with your stuff. You know, I could make it in half the time if I had a straight edge. Oh. Well, this looks to be a wall. I'll go this way. All our people are required to speak English, so we can operate more efficiently in your country. And wear underwear on our heads. Mind telling me why your men are carrying out that campaign of destruction on Earth? It's an election year. Oh, that? Eat lead, space pansy. Oh, I thought that was a smoke detector. Can the human mind penetrate the mysteries of the great beyond? 13 feet, 4 inches, 1920 Olympics. This is a real car. The people, however, are fictional.
Their acting, however, is bad. Real, Real bad. bad. Good evening. 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 It's about the Aztec breastplate and the bracelet, gentlemen. How's that? I put them on at night and well, the whole thing was for... During her past life, Flora had lived among the great peoples of the Aztec. She told us such strange things, amazing things. Some naughty things. Far back in the... This is uh, chicken noodle soup that I let steep all day in the sun. It's like uh, sun tea. See, Mommy's drinking it. Mmm, nom, 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 nom. Open up. Here's the steam shovel. Hot, hot. Ah! Hey, it's a Peruvian Allstate representative. He's stoned. See, now what can we do with her hair? Well, we could give her a swing and bob or... Oh, she's scheduled to die. Just give her a blow dry and a rinse. Flora, our guide, was tied to my waist so we wouldn't be separated. Professor, it sounds hollow. Well, stop knocking on my head. It was the neighbor's basement. Once again, I could use their VHS without them knowing. We had reached the lower temple and the Aztec tomb that Flora had mentioned. And the lighting was good. You know, we're the first persons to break in here. The other people used the door. No, Edward. Don't do it. Do it, Edward. Do it. There's a Tootsie Pop still in his mouth. The three of us got together and returned to the tomb. This time loaded out of our minds. When we reached there... Here. I stumbled on something. It's my foot. It's attached to the bottom of my ankle. Boy, were we drunk. It's an Aztec IUD. Ah. A triple wedgie from a mummy. He held a cross up in front of its face. Which was odd because he was Jewish. You know what to do now, don't you, Bruno? Start a victory garden? Have a bake sale? Support Radio Free Europe? Collect shiny things? Buy bonds where you work or bank? Get a gun? You can imagine our surprise when we discovered the place was completely empty. Except for all this garbage. Now I want you to be quiet. Keep still and don't make the slightest noise. Uh, peace and care, peace and care, peace and care. I wish that you'd come to my... Hey, close it all the way. Were you born in a barn? Loud clock. And kettle drum. You know, that would make another excellent miniature golf course. Like the other movie. What are you doing here? Answer me! What are you doing here? We're hitting people. You stinking devil. Oh, I'd like to chop your rotten flesh to pieces. Bruno, stop letting hate run your life. Great to What's that you've got on your gown? It's all dirty. Looks like That's dead, dirty. dried flesh. Oh, boy, what a liar you are. You shut your big mouth. You're the liar. You can't even act yourself out of a paper bag. Can't you guess what he's trying to do? No. You certainly know what he's after, the breastplate. And besides that, the bracelet. And the snappy Coco Chanel pantsuit. Then you think if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Suppose we took her slippers to the laboratory to have that mud analyzed. That could help us, don't you think? I can tell you what kind of slippers they yes. are. No, I'm quite sure. It's embedded in the dirt. They're slippers. Of course, it's a small... Look, we'd better separate now. Go that way, Pink Kate. I'll go over separate? there. Separate? But I go love on. you. Ow, Dean, don't li- Wow, wow, Oh, scared and mommy and bow. Oh, very bad. Ow, oh, Dean, ow, ow, ow. Oh, beware all who enter. Whoa, am. Oh, Dean, ow. Where are you? Wow. We visited the crypt from time to time to take a look at the mummy with its breastplate and its bracelet, too. And the snappy Coco Chanel pants, too. Days, at last we got the address. I think that Bat had made his hide out there or his laboratory. Or his nest. I... Oh, my God, he's torn apart the Michelin man. Bip, buddy, it's us. Pull yourself together. This is the kind of film you won't put on pause when you leave the room. I learned about your marriage, and I admit it's a bit late to say it, but receive my congratulations. And take this toaster and fondue set as a gift. How are you? Pulsates because I gave it life. And if I can give life... Doesn't that very good rhythm, though? Why can't I give it to the bodies that are damned to death? And then why can't you give it to the script? Tonight I'm going to find out. Tonight I'm going to put it to the supreme test. The Cosmo Sex Quiz? I'll... 
That would make a really excellent miniature golf course. Do you have any jumper cables in your car or something? It's not working. It's not so great. It doesn't have knees. Let's hurry. I'm afraid for their lives. You're afraid for your lives. I'm afraid for your career. You know, I can't help but think that that robot would be excellent on a miniature golf course. Stop it! Robot's very... All right, Floyd, Floyd, hey, cut it out. That's for MP. That's for OP. That's for Goober. Well, it's a decoy. <laughs> Must have been a smoking jacket. Well, immolation is the sincerest form of flattery. Well, last, I think we're about to see the namesake of this movie. At last, I'm gonna have my the robot versus the mummy. Like professional wrestling in slow motion. Well, until next time, my little square pudding. Very bad. Oh, wow. Very bad. Oh, wow. Very bad. Oh, wow. Very bad. Oh. Very bad. Oh. Very bad. Oh. That robot would be excellent on a miniature golf course. Stop it. <laughs>